A DTF is the crypto equivalent of an ETF. Many people buy the S&P 500, for example, to get exposure to the top 500 companies with a single purchase. A DTF works in the same sort of way. You buy one token and it gets you exposure to a whole basket of other tokens underneath. An ETF is share-based, you buy it on the stock market, and it's centralized. It's managed by an investment company that issues the ETF and holds all the underlying assets for you. A DTF, on the other hand, is token-based. They natively trade on DEXs, and they're decentralized by nature. So the tokens that are held for you are held by a smart contract, and the governance of the basket is often decentralized as well. So an ETF stands for Exchange Traded Fund. DTF, on the other hand, stands for Decentralized Token Folio. Let's take a look at some DTFs that exist on reserve. Stable coins are one category. DTFs that are designed to be stable against the US dollar. Yield DTFs give you yield on a single asset. ETH Plus, for instance, gives you the ETH staking rate without having to do anything, and USD3 is similar for dollars. It's like holding a stable coin and having the DeFi rate generated for you in the background. Index DTFs are the latest category supported by reserve. Index DTFs work like the S&P 500, where you buy a token and it gets you exposure to a bunch of other tokens at the same time. Let's buy one and see what that's like. The Clanker Index, for instance, combines tokens across the Clanker ecosystem on base. I'll buy some with USDC, because I've got some. You always have to do two transactions here because you have to approve the use of your funds. And then once that's approved, you'll be able to buy. And that's it. Now I have some exposure to the Clanker ecosystem. One of my favorite things about how this platform works is that anybody can create their own DTF in a few minutes. Right now you can choose between Base and Ethereum. Solana is coming soon. And it's super easy to just choose any token you want to include. You can see just from this list how massive the selection is. I'm going to choose a couple of random tokens here. You set the distribution however you'd like. You set several other parameters, how you want it to be governed, how you want the fees to be distributed. You get to share in the fees, so do the governors. And that's all it takes to create your DTF. So those are the basics of DTFs on reserve. Keep in mind that the reserve index protocol is brand new software, and so is this interface for interacting with them. So if you run into any trouble, just get in touch with the ABC Labs team on their Discord and they'll be able to help you out. And because it's brand new, that interface I just showed you for creating DTFs will be hidden at launch. The ABC team wants to make sure that they have their full attention for fixing any bugs that apply to end users. As soon as they're confident that the platform's stable, they'll be opening up that interface and you'll be able to create your own DTFs.